Okay, ready? Good morning, everyone. I am Ramesh. Welcome to this virtual class. Today, we are going to read the poem, The Ballad of Father Gilligan, written by W. B. Eads, the greatest Irish poet. And he was the son of an Irish painter. And he tried his hands in the field of drama writing and prose writing. He was given or he was awarded Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 1923. So this poem, The Ballad of Father Gilligan is about God's love. You know, God is great. God is omnipotent. God is omnipresent and God is almighty. Even though we cannot see his presence everywhere in the universe, his unseen service and help is felt by all the people in the world. And if you are in need of some divine help, naturally he will come to your support. This is the greatness of God. So people say God is love. People say God is kind. People say God is merciful. Such a God's benevolence is shown in this poem because God intervenes in the life of an earnest priest at a time of immense need. During an epidemic, when the priest's village was infected with the, a deadly disease, large number of people were suffering. This earnest priest was very busy and tired doing his priestly obligations. But unfortunately, on a moment when he was too much tired, he says, I am tired. I have no rest, no peace and all. And unfortunately, saying this, sitting in a chair, he fell asleep. Now, let us see what happens later. This is a poem of 10th standard textbook, SERT English, right? And unit 3. Okay, let us see what the poet tells us about uh, Father Gilligan. Father Peter Gilligan. Okay, right. The old priest Peter Gilligan was very night and deep. For half his flock were in their beds or under green swords lay. Now the situation is like this. The background of the poem is like this. His village was affected with the, a deadly disease epidemic. And number of people were suffering. Some have already gone. And some are lying under the green sod, turf, buried dead and gone. Some others are in the sick bed. And this earnest priest is very busy, you know, running here and there, visiting various places and houses, giving the last communion to the dying people, and also consoling the people who are in the sick bed. So in such a circumstance, the poem begins, opens, right? No, the old priest, Peter Gilligan was weary. You know what is the word meaning weary? Weary means tired. He is very tired and exhausted. Continuous work. No sleep. No rest. So father is very tired. Night and day. Doing priestly obligations. Priestly obligations. Night and day. He is so tired. Then what happens? Because of his flock. Word meaning flock? Flock his parishes were in their beds, sick beds, suffering, undergoing treatments. And while some others are under green swords, lay. swords mean turf, buried and gone. Then next stanza, once while he nodded in a chair at the mock hour of the eve, another poor man sent for him and he began to grieve. While he was sitting in the chair, very tired and exhausted, again a man came requesting for his service but he was you know having that much 
weariness because he felt asleep. Then what happens? While Nodet was almost to sleep at the moth hour of the moth hour late evening, to light, almost that having the uh, time of to light, and he was going to have a small sleep sitting in the chair due to this uh, uh, tiredness. Then what happens? Another man came, another poor man came, telling that, you know, please come to my house because die. Some, somebody is dying there. So he is uh, uh, requested to go and visit and give the dying man last communion. And he began to grieve. Unfortunately, the tired man uttered a few words, expressed his disappointment in a way like this. What is that? I have no rest, no joy, no peace for people die and die. And after cried he, God forgive, my body spake, not I. See, in that uh, uh, particular situation, when he was that much tired, he told, I don't have any rest. I'm not getting any joy. Then peace is not there in my life. I'm doing work, continuous work, because people are dying and uh, dying. What is this God? Knowingly he asked, what is this God? Yeah, but all of a sudden he realized that he made a mistake because he is doing the duty given to him by the God Almighty. A God, divine duty he is performing. So he never regrets about that or never say something negative about that. Okay, but soon he corrected and told that, Oh God, it is not my soul but my body because my body is too much tired. That is why these words came. Okay, then what happened next? He knelt and leaning on the chair, knelt and leaning on the chair, he prayed and fell asleep unknowingly. Never he thought that I would sleep. Never he intended to sleep, but automatically he fell asleep sitting in the chair, forgetting that he had to go and give the last communion to this poor man. And what happened? And the moth hour went from fields. Moth hour over, night came. Everywhere darkness. Darkness deepened. And what happened? And stars began to peep full night. He was, uh, you know, sitting and sleeping in the chair. Right. They slowly into, into millions grew. Darkness deepens, you know, and stars came in the sky later. And it became a full night. And leaves shook in the wind. Wind was blowing there. And God covered the whole, the world with the shade and whispered to mankind. During this time, people believe that God is communicating with his children. His offsprings, creations. And everywhere there will be peace. Silence will be there in the world. And God communicates, talks with his uh, children or his creations during this time. And that was happening over there. All of a sudden, it came dawn. Upon the time of sparrow chirp, sparrow chirping is chirping? Morning, morning. It is going to be dawn, morning time, when the birds flew, the uh, birds started to fly, and uh, they are just uh, leaving out of their nest. Yeah. Upon the time of sparrow chirp, when the moths came once more. Early in the morning also you can find mosquitoes and small flies coming. And this they will be visiting our house two times a day in the late evening. That is almost what we call that meeting time of day and night to light time. Again the morning also we have the uh, experience. Moth coming and you know uh, that uh, flies will be there, mosquitoes will be there. Okay, again it was going to be dawn was going to be torn. Then upon the time of a sparrow chirp, at that time birds making noise because they are getting ready. They were getting ready to go out of their nest. When the moths came once more, the old priest Peter Gilligan stood upright on the floor because he realized the mistake. He understood that he had to go and give communion, last communion to his man to this man to this poor man but he forgot he fell asleep so that was a mistake on his side he understood that what did he do then 
Mevron, Mevron, my God, my God, the man has dead. I am sorry. You're begging that, begging pardon. Uh, you know, he's telling that I made a mistake. The man might have gone, died, right? While I slept in the chair. I know that's a mistake committed by me, done by me. And he rose to his horse out of its sleep and rode with little care. You know, he, yeah, that was a very uh, important line. And rode with little care. Was so anxious to reach there, eager to reach there. So he was careless. He was careless because he understood that he made a mistake. He made a mistake. So he rose to his horse and climbed on his back and started his journey at a very high speed without caring anything. Yeah with little care. He wrote now as he never wrote. See that, see that sentence. He wrote now as he never wrote. He was very careless, very high speed. He was, you know, uh, riding that horse by rocky lane, past that rocky lane and fen. The sick man's wife opened the door. When he reached that sick man's house, his wife came and opened the door. When he knocked, when father knocked at the door, his wife came and she was shocked to see this man, our priest. So opened the door and, Father, you come again. See the expression, excitement in the face of this lady. Because something happened there. Something might have happened there. That is why she is so much excited and uh, shocked to see our father once again. So, Father, you come again. And Father very politely asked, is the poor man dead? He cried, he asked, is the poor man dead? He died an hour ago. That was the reply. He died an hour ago. The old priest Peter Gilligan in grave swayed to and fro, moving like that because he understood his mistake and he was not able to stand straight. Guilt, a feeling, feeling of guilt that made him sway from to, uh, to and fro like this. So to and fro he swayed. When you were gone, he turned and died as merry as a bird. See the word spoken by his the sick man's wife. Just the moment, the moment you left, after giving the last communion to the dying man, what happened? He turned and died. He was so happy to die. How did he die? So that is also given here. As Murray, as a bird. He was so happy. And the dying man was happy and the priest who came to give the last communion also was happy. So it was Father Gilligan. How? How did it happen? Father was sleeping in the chair, no? That may be a miracle, no? Something might have happened. God might have intervened at this juncture to help Father Gilligan. How? See, let us see that now. So, um, as Marie, as a bird, the old priest, Peter Gilligan, he knelt him at that word. He was so thankful to God for doing such a deed. So, helping him, for helping him at a critical moment because he was so tired, you know, he needed help. Immense help, God's grace, God's love he needed at that time. And God came, not in that uh, form. He sent his angel for doing this work in disguise as who? Father Peter Gilligan. He who hath made the night of stars, the creator of the world, even stars, sun, everything is created by God for souls who tired and bleed. He is also always helping the people who are in need. The suffering people, the needy people, the downtrodden people he is helping. Then send one of his great angels down. That God, the creator of this whole universe. So uh, the priest understood the benevolence of God. And he realized that the creator of the world, the power which is always ready to help the needy and the poor. The downtrodden came to his help when he needed immense support. Okay, now, he who hath made the night of stars for souls who tear and bleed, 
send one of his greatest angels right no see send one of his great angels down to help me in my years. grateful father is very grateful thankful to god for doing the job so he says that i understood my mistake and i am also thankful to the god almighty for helping me in uh, at this juncture or in a way like this okay so he who is wrapped in purple robes with planets in his care see god is so powerful even he is the owner of all the planets and doing all the things creator of all the people in the world okay now all the things in the world he who is wrapped in purple robes with planets in his care had pity on the least of things even though uh, god is doing great things big things in the world planets and all the things he is also merciful to the little poor human beings when you are in need you just pray to god earnestly call him and submit yourself before him he will come even though you are a little creature for him okay he will come to your help definitely that will be there he who is wrapped in purple robes with planets in his care had pity on the least of things asleep upon a chair here the poet is expressing his gratitude to god almighty for doing the service when he was in need of it so dear friends this poem is about god's grace god's benevolence god's love so if you have deep faith great faith in your mind if you are doing selfless deeds if you are serving the poor and needy people if you are good and faithful definitely your god will come to your help that be so in this poem in the case of father peter gilligan so believe in god you will get the blessings may god shower his choices to blessings upon you all thank you thank you very much